Well, today we will have episode uh, two of Cooking with Dave. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, actually. Um, <clears throat> you might wonder what I'm doing right now. I'm actually making chopped onions using my Alaskan aloo. Um, <clears throat> because mm, today's dish is black beans and rice. Now, I see that there is a pork loin thawing in the sink. So I'm thinking, what's a good side dish to go with pork loin? And of course, first thing that comes to mind, black beans and rice, of course, right? Because I'm from Florida. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my black beans and rice. And my black beans and rice is mine, okay? I didn't get it from nobody. Nobody told me the recipe. It's how I make it the way I like it. So the first thing you gotta have, of course, is black beans. So right there we have black beans. Now, they've been soaking in the water. They're nice and soft. They're ready to cook. But I need to add a few things to them. And one of the things that I like in my rice, when I cook my rice, which I use yellow rice, you know, Goya yellow rice, um, <clears throat> is good old Bob Evans original pork sausage. I like to scramble it up in the frying pan and get it to where it's brown. I mix that in with my rice when I'm making my rice for my black beans. So I got some setup to do and I'll return shortly. So here we are at phase two of the project. Um, yeah, the last cooking show I did was so damn popular on Facebook, I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll, every time I cook something a little unusual or whatever, uh, I'll make a show about it. So here we go. Where we're at now, we've got our sausage over here browning. And uh, it started out in a big tube and now it's ni nice and all jibbled up. And uh, two things about sausage, it's good. One, it's got pork fat in it. Pork fat's the best thing is in the world for flavor. All right, in the South, you can't hardly cook anything without pork fat. I mean, we used to have great big, huge cans of it. We called it lard. And everything from biscuits to fried chicken was cooked in it. Now folks will say, Dave, that should'll kill you. Well, all gotta die something. Might as well be happy doing it. Now I have a particularly unusual way that I make this. I have to make the black beans separated, segregated from my rice. Why? Why do you have to do that, Dave, do you ask? Because my son does not like onions and he does not like black beans. So I make the rice separate and it's a standalone rice, so he can eat it and not have to suffer through the black beans and the onions. So the first thing I have to do, I was chopping up onions earlier, I got them all in a little coffee filter. And I do that because it just makes putting them in a whole lot easier. And then you just throw away the mess. <clears throat> a lot of people say, ooh, what a waste of a coffee filter. A whole big old pack of coffee filters at the dollar store is a dollar. And they're like that many cheaper than paper plates. So anyway, I'm not going to put all of this sausage, and this is good sausage. I, I like Bob Evans' original sausage. The sage sauce is a little too sagey for me. I'm not going to use all this in my rice because tomorrow I want to have some sausage gravy and biscuits. So I'm going to save half of it for breakfast tomorrow, and I'm going to put half of it in my rice today. So with that being said, this I'm gonna pull off the fire. Keep that over here. Turn the back one off and move this up to the front. And I gotta get that into a good rolling thunder boil. And this I shall let cool off over here in the sink. 
and then I'll put that in a container and put it in the refrigerator for breakfast in the morning. And I'll make some salsa gravy or biscuits. Something else that'll kill you. If it's done right. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we've already reached the reached the point now where we know we're gonna keep everything like it was in the old deep south before nineteen sixty five. Segregate. And not that that's racist. It's just bringing a point to bear, keeping two things separate. Usually that's not a good thing, but in my house with black beans and rice, it is because, as I said, my son don't like black beans and he don't like onions. I don't know where that part of him came from. Another planet, I'm sure. So the other secret to making this is not being in any hurry. See, people today when they cook, they're in a fired awful hurry, and they, they just don't take the proper time to let things percolate properly. See, so the black beans, I don't have that on no rolling boil. I got it barely where there's flame coming out, and this will sit here and have a slow simmer while it cooks in, and that's how flavor gets into it. The flavor creeps in. And then I'm going to get my water boiling with the sausage. The sausage will release the fat, which is pork fat, which remember from earlier I said, what's with pork fat, full of flavor? That's boiling into the water for the rice to dump into and cook in. So the rice will absorb that, and instead of having to put oil in, like usually I have to put a tablespoon of oil in my rice when I cook it, I let the sausage do the work for me. So as soon as this gets to a boil, which the hardest thing in the world to do is to wait for water to boil. We all know that, right? So we'll be back when the water's boiling. Okay, so my water's boiling. So I'm gonna kind of give you the overview, the eagle eye view over here. Now, <clears throat> you have to be very delicate about adding your rice to boiling water. So. I sort of delicately dump it into the pot. And while I get it in there, I gotta stir it a little bit. And what's important is to leave the lid off of it and let it boil. And I like to let my rice boil for a minute. So, and I don't cover it until that minute's up. I want to take this little interlude uh, to interject something um, that I like to carry around. And guys, when I was a dating man, I used to keep in my car a sleeve of saltine crackers, a bottle of Cholula hot sauce, and fancy smoked oysters. Now you may think this is gross, but let me tell you, one of the most erotic instant meals you can have with somebody you love is smoked oysters in the middle of a field in the woods. Just pop the can open and a feast begins. And, and it can be very erotic too. Mm. Anyway, uh, the good thing is, is I got easy open. Um, unfortunately, though, I also don't don't have my camera person anymore. Uh, but anyway, so what you end up with looks like this. Uh, Bumblebee, I got because they were on sale to the dollar store. Easy open means just pop them open. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to show you how it's done because it's a ritual. But, but first, I have to get a jalapeno stuffed olive. Mmm. 
See, in the South, we have Shotgun Willies. Shotgun Willies has the best jalapeno stuffed olives ever. But here in the North, we ain't got Shotgun Willies. We ain't got shotgun shit. Thank God there's a Walmart. Because Great Value has jalapeno stuffed green olives. And you don't have to pay $35 a jar for them either. So armed with your sleeve of saltines and your vast array of hot sauces, you begin using that leftover fondue fork to spear yourself a smoked oyster and then I like green pepper sauce which is particularly flavorful anyway you put a little dab on here ooh yeah there we go get a little oh. And then I just destroy my cracker. Anyway, you bring it up into the mouth. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That's good stuff. You know what to say about oysters? But that's none of my business. coffee okay so we have the final the final delivery of my black beans and rice so this is how the black beans and rice should look without the black beans remember we're keeping everything segregated because Ian don't like black beans and he don't like onions I don't know what young and he is because he ain't mine okay now what we got to do the rice should be fluffed and I forgot to do that but I found that instead of fluffing digging and slapping works pretty damn good so let me dig it out and slap it into this pan and we'll fry it because everybody knows frying makes things taste better <laughs> I don't know why I talk that way but I, I get carried away sometimes when I'm cooking I have multiple personalities and they all fight to get out and take control. Okay, so that's it on the rice. Now the whole trick about frying rice is not to burn it. Now, one of the things I did, I got my pan hot to start with and then I put some cooking spray in here. And it ain't gonna take much to get a nice little caramelization on this rice here. let this simmer just a little bit. Now the main the main course that we're gonna have is being cooked as we speak. And it's basically I have uh, a little uh, pork loin and it's basically roasted real slow at 250 degrees and uh, and I have some rosemary on it, just a touch, to give it a little pizzazz. That'll be ready shortly. But this show is about black beans and rice. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. Now I'll show you how this works. Okay. Now let's let's go over here to the demonstration counter. Okay, this is how Ian likes his rice. Okay, this is how I like my rice. Now we put a little bit of this on there.
And this, my friends, is black beans and rice. Mm. So, thank you for joining me today for my black beans and rice bon appetit.